My name is Gil Bothwell. I am a master's student studying real estate and my sport is cross country and track and field. I actually started running because I had zero friends in first grade and it was the way to kind of cope with the embarrassment of not having anyone to play with at recess and lunch. I played a lot of sports throughout my life and you can kind of hide sometimes when you're having a bad day or not feeling like yourself, but cross country is one of those sports where you just are required to constantly be on the top of your game and um, really no days off. It's just it's a year round commitment and um, year round grind for sure. The one thing I really love about cross country and track is that um, it's a sport where you really find where your like your limit is, and it's um, been a really awesome journey to just you know wake up every day and see myself improve. But I think really when you're when you don't want to be there, and when you're having those tough days where you're like, man, I'm too tired. I think it's your teammates, it's the people that have believed in you, it's people that push you every day that you you think about, and it kind of drags your butt out of bed. I'm Gavin White, and my sport is cross country. I met Gil through cross country. He was just the captain of the team when I came to Chapman, and he was the guy that I looked up to right away. And when I first committed to the Chapman team, I looked at the roster and I looked at who was kind of outstanding, and Gil obviously stuck out because he was super fast. And just immediately he took me under his wing and he kind of showed me the ropes of collegiate athletics. And I think he does that to everybody. He's a really, really good leader. Getting to hear everyone's story and getting to just find out so much about so many diverse different people, it really kind of allows you to just um, develop as a person, um, have compassion for everyone, um, and also just push people to their limits. I think that's been really rewarding is just, it allows you to meet people with a common goal. The school fit is, is a big deal. And I think that D3 really allows you to kind of have, um, to have your own path and to still meet people that want to work hard. You can still get the best out of yourself with D3 training. It's really not that different from D1 training. You're not doing it because, you know, oh man, I'm getting this, you know, to help me pay for tuition or I'm getting this kind of benefit or, oh wow, like, you know, everyone's gonna think I'm super cool as this D3 cross country runner. Like, no one gives a crap, you know, no one cares. So I think really the, the hardest part about it is that if you want to do this, like if you want to grind it out, like it's really the re reward is for yourself. I remember just that workout, I was not feeling good. And I was just, I was really feeling weak mentally and the laps were going by so slow. And Gil's a back runner, which means he starts out in the back of the pack, but then, you know, by the first lap, he'll catch up and he just loves running and catching up to people. So I knew he was on my back and I knew he was like going to come. And then he came and he said, stick with me. And as soon as he said that, he kind of, you know, like tapped me on my back. And I knew I had to stick with him because he was there to win and he was there to train. And so I knew by sticking with him that he was going to lead me to success. Running was there for me when no one else, it felt like no one else was. Um, and so I think running for me has just been that thing in my life that I can always turn to. When I'm having a bad day, when I, you know, feel like I just need to get something off my chest, I go out for a run. Definitely without running, I wouldn't have been able to make all the amazing connections and have so many role models that I've looked up to and, and people and also my own confidence, I think, has really grown a lot throughout the sport. Being a captain is about inspiring the people around you to have the confidence to believe in themselves and really go after their full potential. And I think for me, the times, the you know, good performances are all really special, but I think the most special thing for me throughout all my years of, of cross country has been just watching um, my teammates accomplish their goals and come so far from when they began. I see it now that people are kind of starting to look up to me and, and follow me for you know, what we're supposed to do on the team. And I really take pride in that and trying to make the team better and leading by example. So, you know, right now when I'm unsure, I look to Gil. But I know that if I continue to trust myself and with Gil's mentorship throughout the uh, rest of this year, I'll be ready to lead the team. And that last lap was a lot of fun. <laughs> Just gotta keep pushing it. Visualizing the race on Saturday.